Okay, uh, Shen Yun, this is Simon uh, with Citizen Science Asia. Could you introduce yourself and a uh, little bit about what you do at GI? Mm -hmm. uh, I just uh, talk to you. Uh, my name is Shen Yun Xu. Uh, I work for Global Environmental Institute, mm -hmm. uh, GI. It's an <clears throat> NGO based in Beijing and started uh, from 2004, almost uh, 15 years. And we uh, mainly work in three areas. Uh, one is uh, oversee investment uh, of Chinese companies. Like they are impacts in the environmental like, problems of oversee. Mm -hmm. And the second is uh, energy and climate change. We this is a more highly uh, high level government policy uh, recommendation or, or, or analyze okay. and training. The third one is uh, community development and the ecosystem conservations. Mm -hmm. um, that's uh, three big areas we have working on so far. Okay, so for the community um, area, that's really what we're interested in today. So the citizen science aspect. And I understand you guys did a project in Qinghai looking at uh, water quality and pollution. Can you tell me more about that? Uh, one like uh, project uh, we have been working on for several years is we train these uh, local people to monitor these uh, uh, water qualities in the rivers there, like from these rivers. There are like a lot of rivers there. Mm -hmm. Um, we uh, cooperate with uh, like uh, several communities from different regions uh, in this province. Mm. Mm, these projects are still going on, and people um, when after we train them, they can uh, do this uh, uh, water monitoring uh, thing by themselves. Mm -hmm. They will go outside to, to, you know, test these uh, water qualities by themselves. So yeah, and they, they still use papers to record all these uh, uh, water qualities. What we are trying to help them is to, like we can in the future maybe use uh, mobile phone apps to do this, uh, you know, recording thing. Mm -hmm. So it will be more useful for. Uh, data collection and for analyze uh, in the following up, you know, uh, activities. Okay. The second one is about the, the plastic rubbish collections here. Like we, uh, we tell them this uh, impact uh, about the plastic rubbish mm -hmm. to the environment, and because this area is the upstream of uh, three big rivers in right. China. So it's very important, uh, like uh, ecosystem there for the whole country. So we help them to, like, we teach them how, like, important about this uh, like environment, how fragile of this environment. Mm -hmm. So they they have this awareness of this plastic uh, rubbish impact to their environment. So sure. they, like they started like uh, maybe two years ago to collect all these plastic bags and rubbish there. This is becoming a regular activity in these communities. Okay, great. And uh, what's the impact been? Have you seen uh, any changes coming out of this program? Uh, there are like people's awareness about this uh, environmental environment pollution is becoming stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. They know these uh, uh, bad impacts to their environment. This is uh, one big improvement there. Mm -hmm. And people started to like get, like more people get started to get involved in this uh, project, these plastic uh, you know, collections. Yeah. And what's your understanding of what citizen science is? In this like, uh, um, period or time, I think it's more about education. Mm -hmm. Try to get
get more people involved or in this uh, citizen science project because people don't understand it and mm -hmm. yeah it's more like education will be more critical in China. Okay. Yeah. Right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.